Also this morning, an investigation by Sky News has revealed many skin specialists are not trained in how to spot conditions on people from black and ethnic minority backgrounds. Doctors say they find it difficult to diagnose disease on people with darker skin tones. Well, the General Medical Council says it will include more ethnically diverse examples in future training. And just a warning, this report from Sky's Ashna Harina contains some graphic images. Diagnosing illnesses and saving lives rely on pictures like this. But critics argue examples of symptoms on black and brown skin are hard to find. It's the lack of accessible diverse imagery in medical resources which Tarek believes led to a delay in being diagnosed with a rare skin condition. The fact that I had to go back two or three times before I got a proper referral and diagnosis did concern me at the time. But, and it does kind of put me off a little bit. Um, every time I go to the doctors and um, I'm told that something's fine, I take it away and think, oh, they must know what they're talking about. Uh, and, but then at the back of my mind, I'm always thinking, I hope they know what they're talking about. It's a concern shared by medical student Malone, who noticed phrases like becoming pale and lips turning blue didn't apply to patients with darker skin. Alongside his lecturers, he's created a clinical handbook for people of colour. I noticed that it was a problem from my first year of university. Um, we just weren't being taught enough on darker skins. And I knew that this was an issue because I would look at the symptoms that we are being presented with in textbooks, um, on online resources, and I'll try to translate and apply that knowledge to darker skin tone. And I'd find most of the time it doesn't necessarily translate in the same way. Ethnic dermatology has been explored for decades, but it's not widely accessible. After hearing from her patients, Tessa Davis began collating examples online for free. It shouldn't matter what type or colour of skin you have or what type of condition that you have, we should be able to recognise it. And I think we need to be part of reflecting that in the educational material that's available online, and that will help improve the care that we can deliver for our, our patients. The General Medical Council, who are responsible for medical education in the UK, have made a commitment to include ethnically diverse examples in the curriculum. This a relief for those who often struggle to find answers when they need them the most. Ashna Harinag, Sky News.